Ramon Sosa, a successful businessman, shared his life and dreams with a partner he believed to be his confidant and soulmate. However, beneath the harmonious surface of their life together, a sinister plot was brewing, one that would change everything. In the sprawling landscape of Texas, where life's dramas often unfold under the vast sky, Ramon Sosa's story began like many others, with dreams and aspirations. A man of passion and determination, Ramon navigated life's complexities with the poise of a seasoned traveler, unaware that his path would lead him through a maze of deceit and betrayal. As we delve deeper into the story of Ramon Sosa, we confront more than just the chilling facts of a murder plot thwarted. We seek out the truths hidden in the complexities of human relationships. Join us as we unravel this tapestry of intrigue and survival, a story that challenges our perceptions of trust and tests the bounds of resilience. The Early Life of Ramon Ramon Sosa's journey began in the vibrant culture and heartwarming community of Puerto Rico, where the rhythms of salsa and the warmth of the Caribbean sun marked the cadence of daily life. Born into a family that valued resilience and the power of hard work, Ramon grew up understanding that life was a blend of passion, perseverance, and the joy found in simple pleasures. From an early age, Ramon was captivated by the world of sports. His eyes would light up at the sight of athletes on the television, marveling at their skill and determination. This fascination wasn't just passive. It ignited a fire within him, a desire to pursue greatness in his own right. He spent countless hours in the local playgrounds, his feet pounding the dusty ground, his heart synced with the rhythm of ambition. As he grew, so did his dreams. Ramon's ambitions weren't confined to the small island he called home. He yearned to make a mark on a larger stage to show the world the metal he was made of. His journey led him to the mainland, the United States, a land where he believed dreams could be turned into reality with the right mix of talent and tenacity. Arriving in the United States, Ramon faced the typical challenges of an immigrant, language barriers, cultural adjustments, and the daunting task of establishing a new life in a foreign land. But these challenges only served to strengthen his resolve. He quickly adapted, learning English and immersing himself in his new community, always with an eye on his ultimate goal. Ramon's early career was marked by a series of trials and small victories. He started off with modest jobs, each step a lesson in humility and hard work. But his passion for sports never waned. In the evenings, after long hours of work, he would train, his body enduring the strains of physical exertion, his mind focused on the greater goal ahead. It was during these formative years that Ramon discovered his true calling, boxing. The sport, with its blend of physical prowess, mental strategy, and raw emotional power, resonated deeply with him. He saw it as a metaphor for life. Every punch thrown and every blow taken mirrored the struggles and triumphs of his own journey. His training regimen was rigorous and disciplined. In the ring, Ramon's boxing style was a direct reflection of his personality. He was known for being resilient, a trait essential for boxers who must often endure and push through moments of physical and mental exhaustion. His strategy in the ring demonstrated his understanding of the sport's intricacies. Boxing is often likened to a chess match. It's not just about physical strength, but also about outthinking the opponent, anticipating their moves, and adapting strategies mid-fight. Ramon was also noted for his respect towards his opponents. This respect is a hallmark of professionalism in boxing, where sportsmanship is valued. Despite the inherently combative nature of the sport, there is a strong undercurrent of mutual respect among boxers, acknowledging the shared experience of rigorous training, dedication, and the courage it takes to step into the ring. His rise in local boxing circuits was a testament to his skills and hard work. The attention Ramon's fights drew was due to the intensity and skill he displayed, traits that boxing aficionados deeply appreciate. As his reputation grew, so did his ambitions. Ramon dreamt of not just being a boxer, but a mentor, someone who could inspire and guide others. This dream led him to the next chapter of his life, establishing a gym and becoming a coach, a role in which he could share his passion and experience with aspiring athletes. 
In these early chapters of his life, Ramon Sosa laid the foundations of his character, a blend of Puerto Rican heart, immigrant resilience, and the soul of a fighter. His story was just beginning, but the path he tread was already marked with the footprints of determination and the promise of greatness to come. The Meeting of Ramon and Lulu The story of Ramon Sosa and Maria, Lulu Sosa, is a narrative that began like many tales of romance, with the spark of attraction and the promise of a shared future. Ramon, a man molded by his experiences as a boxer and an entrepreneur, carried with him the resilience and determination characteristic of someone who had faced life's challenges head on. Lulu, with her own unique personality and aspirations, seemed to complement Ramon's life, bringing with her a different set of strengths and qualities. Their early life together was marked by a shared ambition. They both had dreams and aspirations, and together they decided to turn these dreams into reality. This period of their lives was a whirlwind of planning, building, and dreaming. They opened a gym, a physical embodiment of their shared goals, where Ramon could pass on his passion and expertise in boxing to others. In this phase of their relationship, Ramon and Lulu worked side by side, their lives interwoven with the day-to-day -day running of the gym. They were partners in every sense, facing the challenges and celebrating the successes of their joint venture together. The gym became a hub of activity, a place where aspirations were nurtured and goals were achieved. However, beneath the surface of this partnership, there were undercurrents that would later emerge, revealing a more complex and troubling aspect of their relationship. This early period, though filled with hope and collaboration, unknowingly sowed the seeds of a narrative that would later unfold in unexpected and dramatic ways. The Crack in the Foundation One of the first signs of trouble in their relationship was a shift in communication. The easy, open exchanges that once marked their interactions began to give way to brief, guarded conversations. The gym, once a shared sanctuary of dreams and hard work, gradually became a place of tense silences and unspoken thoughts. It was as if an invisible barrier had risen between them. Financial strains started to play a role as well. Ramon noticed discrepancies in the gym's finances, small at first, but increasingly difficult to overlook. There were unexplained expenses, receipts that didn't add up, and a general sense of disarray in what was once a meticulously managed business. Lulu's behavior also began to change. She became more withdrawn, her vibrant energy dimming. Her once passionate involvement in the gym waned, replaced by a distant, almost indifferent attitude. This change was subtle, yet to Ramon, it was as palpable as the gloves he used to wear in the ring. Social dynamics around them also started to shift. Friends and gym patrons picked up on the change, though it was unspoken. Their once lively social gatherings took on a different tone, with conversations becoming more superficial, avoiding the depth they once had. These early signs were the harbingers of a storm brewing beneath the calm surface of their life together. The Revelation And then, Ramon found himself faced with a pivotal and shocking discovery. There was a murder plot against him. This chilling discovery came to Ramon in an almost unbelievable manner, it was during a seemingly ordinary day when he was approached by a close friend and confidant. Ramon Sosa's friend, known as Mundo, learned about the plot when he overheard a conversation between Lulu and her daughter at the couple's gym. Lulu expressed a wish for Ramon to be dead and later approached Mundo, knowing his past gang involvement, for help in finding a hitman. Mundo, concerned for his friend Ramon, decided to play along while planning to inform Ramon about Lulu's intentions. This friend, with a heavy heart and a sense of urgency, revealed a harrowing plot that was hard for Ramon to comprehend. Someone had contracted a hitman to take his life, and the person behind this sinister plan was none other than his wife, Lulu. To gather evidence and trap Lulu, Ramon and Mundo decided to continue the charade. Ramon posed as the hitman through texts, and eventually the authorities got involved, substituting an undercover officer for the fictional hitman, this officer met with Lulu, showing staged evidence of Ramon's death, leading to her arrest. The initial wave of disbelief that washed over Ramon was quickly replaced by a torrent of emotions, confusion, 
anger, fear, and a profound sense of betrayal. His mind raced as he tried to piece together the fragments of information, each piece more unsettling than the last. The plot, as described by his friend, was detailed and advanced, with discussions about the method, the payment, and the chilling casualness with which it was being planned. The plot was made even more disturbing by the revelation that an undercover law enforcement officer was involved, posing as the hitman hired to execute the plot. This added a layer of stark reality to the situation, a confirmation that this was not just a baseless suspicion, but a tangible, dangerous plot unfolding. Ramon was faced with the surreal task of seeing and hearing evidence of this plot and hearing recordings of Lulu's voice discussing the details of his own murder. It was a surreal, out-of-body experience for Ramon. It was a voice he knew so well, yet it spoke words that were completely alien to the life they had built together. The betrayal was not just a personal blow. It was a dismantling of the life and identity he had built. Every memory, every shared moment with Lulu was now cast in the shadow of this revelation. Trust, the foundation of their relationship, had been irrevocably broken, leaving Ramon to navigate a labyrinth of legal proceedings, personal safety measures, and emotional turmoil that was just beginning to unfold. The Sting Operation In the aftermath of the shocking revelation of the murder plot, Ramon Sosa found himself at a critical crossroads. The decision to collaborate with law enforcement to stage his own death and execute a sting operation was one that carried immense weight and danger. This phase of Ramon's life was marked by a blend of strategic planning, intense suspense, and the grim reality of facing one's own mortality in the most extraordinary of circumstances. The planning of the sting operation was meticulous and required Ramon's full cooperation. Working closely with the police, Ramon was involved in every step of the process, from conceptualizing the plan to executing it. The plan was to convincingly fake his murder, capture it in photographs, and use this evidence to confront Lulu and expose her intentions. Ramon's role in this operation was both physically and emotionally taxing. He had to mentally prepare himself to witness and participate in the staging of his own death. This involved elaborate makeup and the staging of a crime scene where Ramon had to lie motionless, feigning death, while law enforcement took photographs that would be shown to Lulu as proof of the murder's completion. The execution of this plan was fraught with suspense. Every step had to be carried out flawlessly to avoid arousing suspicion. The law enforcement officers involved had to ensure not only the success of the operation, but also the safety of everyone involved, particularly Ramon, who was in a uniquely vulnerable position. The danger in this operation was not just physical, but also psychological. Ramon had to confront the surreal and disturbing experience of seeing himself as a murder victim, an experience that few can imagine. This psychological impact was compounded by the knowledge that someone he once loved and trusted was the architect of the plot. Throughout the operation, Ramon had to maintain a facade of normalcy in his interactions with others, especially Lulu. This required a level of emotional control and acting that added another layer of complexity to the situation. The climax of the operation was a moment of high tension. When the staged photographs were finally shown to Lulu, the reaction of law enforcement officers was critical. They had to be prepared for any possible outcome, including Lulu's potential reaction to the news of Ramon's death. The reaction from Lulu Lulu's reaction upon seeing the staged proof of her husband Ramon's death was a critical moment in the unfolding of the sting operation. Given the sensitive and legal nature of the situation, the details of her reaction are both crucial and telling. When presented with the staged photographs of Ramon's supposed demise, Lulu's reaction was a complex mix of emotions that were closely observed by the undercover law enforcement officers. Her response was a combination of shock, disbelief, and possibly a calculated attempt to conceal any guilt or complicity. In the undercover operation involving Ramon Sosa's staged death, Lulu Sosa's reaction upon being presented with fake evidence of her husband's murder was meticulously observed by law enforcement. Her response was multifaceted and revealing. Initially, she displayed shock, a natural reaction to the sudden and violent loss of a spouse. 
This shock, however, seemed intermingled with disbelief, possibly stemming from confusion or the realization of the plot's fruition. Additionally, there was an element of calculation in her demeanor. It appeared as though Lulu was attempting to navigate the situation cautiously, possibly to mask her involvement or guilt in the conspiracy. This complex array of emotions, captured by the undercover officers, played a significant role in the investigation, offering insight into her psychological state and potential culpability in the murder-for-hire scheme. The officers needed to carefully gauge her reaction, looking for any signs of feigned surprise, relief, or any other emotion that might indicate her involvement in the murder plot. In scenarios like these, the reactions of the suspects are often a mix of genuine and performed emotions, making it challenging for law enforcement to immediately discern the truth. In the investigation of Ramon Sosa's staged murder plot, Lulu Sosa's reactions were closely analyzed by undercover officers. They looked for any inconsistencies or behavioral cues that might align with or contradict her earlier statements and actions. This scrutiny was key in assessing her knowledge and involvement in the murder plot, offering insights into her truthfulness and potential complicity. It's important to note that the specific details of Lulu's reaction would be a key part of the investigation and subsequent legal proceedings. Her response at that moment could potentially provide critical evidence in understanding her involvement and intent in the murder plot. The Reveal An undercover officer, posing as the hitman, then met Lulu in a parking lot and showed her the photos, convincing her that Ramon was dead. Lulu's reaction was chilling. She laughed and showed excitement upon seeing the photographs, even asking for details about Ramon's supposed final moments. This encounter was recorded by the police. The next day, the police conducted a wellness check at her residence, during which Lulu acted as a concerned wife, unaware of the evidence against her. Eventually, Lulu Sosa was arrested and pleaded guilty to solicitation of murder at the district court in Conroe, Texas. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison in October 2016. Ramon Sosa, post this harrowing experience, has become a public speaker and author, sharing his story to raise awareness about abusive and manipulative relationships. His book, I Walked on My Own Grave, details his experiences and the case itself. Sosa also had the privilege of presenting his narrative at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books in 2023, a moment he deeply appreciated. Celebrating his 56th birthday, he chose to visit Puerto Rico, his place of origin, for a brief holiday. Despite the life-threatening challenges he faced in 2015, Ramon now embraces life to the fullest, prioritizing his well-being and savoring every moment. Join the conversation. Drop a comment to share your thoughts and insights. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating content. Thanks for tuning in to Really Unreal. Join us next time for another fascinating true crime story. Stay curious, stay connected. Stay with Really Unreal.